Here we go. Everybody, and welcome to the podcast. On this episode, I got to sit down with Luke Burns. Now, Luke and I have known each other for like a year or so now, but we've never really taken the time out just to kind of sit down and have a long chat to get to know each other. So this was a really cool opportunity and an excuse to do that. And I had so much fun. Luke is a really cool dude. Um, We worked out that we're both quite similar. He's probably way cooler than I am. But we're both tradies and so we were able to share some of those stories from our apprenticeships, those inevitable stuff ups that everybody does. And just some of the things like that. Luke's also a dad so he was able to share some stories about that. And yeah, we talked about heaps of different things as we always do on this podcast. But um, yeah, I really hope you enjoy this one. And he's also got a lot of wisdom to share, which is really cool. And he's very willing to kind of share that, even though he doesn't think he's sharing that. If that makes any sense at all. I don't I don't think that makes sense, but I hope you kind of know what I mean. But um, yeah, I had so much fun. I hope you enjoy it too. And um, yeah, please keep leaving your feedback. I'm going to say it every week because I really like seeing the feedback because the feedback helps me to then make this the best possible experience for you guys and that's what it's all about so i really hope you enjoy this conversation if you do please like and subscribe do all of the things that help out and have a great week i'll see you in the next episode bye guys Just your microphone, get comfy. Um, but um, it's just um, it's just a chat. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. I'm cool. Yeah. That's cool for me. Yep. So this is what I was going to ask you straight away. I saw your. I haven't actually asked you before, but yep. River City Cabinets is that? Are you a cabinet maker? Cabinet maker by trade. Yeah. That is that yeah. is me. Cabinet haven't maker. been um, <clears throat> haven't been on the tools though for like um seven years or seven or eight years oh, okay so yeah i've been where i've been with this company for must be nearly 15 years wow so that's not your own company not my own company yeah. no just um like my official term my official um titles of project administrator okay so I basically just manage manage jobs do a bit of everything quoting and quoting. drawing um yeah pretty much everything from start to finish bar the actual physical yeah, nice. Side of it. So, um, yeah, I started there, yeah, 15 odd years ago and then kind of um, worked my way through, became the foreman um, and then kind of got to a point where, like, you can't go much further than than the foreman. Yeah, yeah. On the tools. Yeah. And so, yeah, got to got to um, put my hand up and say, oh, can you, do you reckon I could learn, do what you do in, in the office? And, um, yeah, the rest is history. I kind of jumped into it, just dove in and it's been good. It's yeah. been good. Like you get, you know, there's, it's like anything. You can make what you make the most of it or, or not. So mm. it has its days. Do like you miss being on the tool sometimes? Sometimes I do, yeah. But but also um, I tend to be to keep try to keep quite um, like just in home in my home life. I try to be do do most things myself. Um, so you know, while I don't do like the the work on the tools at work, I still try to do stuff. Where yeah, I can here and be there. practical here. Yeah, and, there. and so when I get the chance to like do like build something properly, you get a real sense of like, oh, that felt good. <laughs> yeah, and I see that sort of like like it's still sort of go. Oh, I've still got it. You know, that's yeah, that sort I of feeling. You like because yeah, yeah. you do sometimes you go. Oh, I wonder if I've, I wonder if I even could do that. Anymore. You lose it, hey? Yeah, you yeah. Become, you just kind of like get out of the, the yeah. flow of things, and so I've even had guys like young fellas over the years who don't even realize at work that i'm a cabinet maker yeah right they just think oh that's luke he's just up in the off in his office and yeah well they're like no no you know people say oh no, i used to be the foreman and you know yeah like oh wow so yeah people <laughs> you said oh you got to remember you don't really know someone that well even yeah. if you work with them every day no. there's this whole potentially this whole sort of past that they've Back had stories, that you don't yeah. know about so <laughs> yeah no it's um it's good i usually try and jump it even just through church doing stuff like I've um, done a few things, like building things for different yeah, events and stuff. Yeah, a few sets and stuff. Yeah, so like you know, I usually try to um, um, jump into those if I get the opportunity to be a bit bit hands on there. I'd, I'd try to give that a good. Did crack you do on. that snow globe thing? Was that yeah, you? yeah. So that was cool. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Like, um, I also enjoy that. Like someone going, like that's a really good example of like someone just going, 
oh, we really want a snow globe. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Um, the challenge in that of like going in my head, building it, going, oh, is that going to work or maybe? Yeah. And then just. How often does someone build a snow globe? So, yeah, so. well, that was a first for me. Yeah, yeah you know, and, and it, it came together pretty well. Yeah. There are a lot of, uh, I'm sure there are a lot of Christmas um, family photos. Yeah, it got really well board. used, you know, so yeah. that was good to see. And then at one point I thought um, I saw Jason, his whole family up there. I reckon there was like 12 or 13 people <laughs> on that thing. And and it, it, I did think, oh, I wonder if that's going to hold. Yeah. But it did. How it structural helped. did you make yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I, made it, I, I made it pretty, I over-engineered that base. <laughs> yeah. Sort of thinking like we might have, you know, I think we had what, like 6,000 odd people yeah. come through. So even if, you know, a quarter of them got on that, I didn't want to risk <laughs> no. someone going off it. Yeah, you'd be in the room. Yeah, yeah. Somebody yeah. broke so, their leg on a snow ground. Oh, mate. At Christmas. That, that was a cool, that was a cool thing to do, you oh, know. Good. I enjoy that. I enjoy that. And I enjoy seeing people enjoying like, you using something that you've built like i built a swing um for um the women's conference all oh, right uh, it was like a oh i've never seen photos of that yeah same yeah. sort of thing it's like it's cool to build it but then it's cool to see it being used yeah and and enjoyed and stuff and then whatever happens to it after that well whatever it <laughs> doesn't matter <laughs> yeah, exactly. it's gone but you know Back i just sort of always sort of say with stuff like that i'm like uh, happy to build it, happy to do whatever you want to do. Just don't tell anyone it was me because there's always that risk of like then 50 people want yeah. whatever that thing is. Oh, I'd, or, love, yeah, I'd love a snow globe in the yeah. backyard. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so, yeah. Uh, I don't know, I built yeah, it. So, true. Yeah, so Be no. incognito a bit with it. Yeah, exactly. Definitely. Yeah. Had you always wanted to be a cabinet maker or did you like, was that something that you kind of um, got into? So uh, I actually um, – in high school, because I, f- I finished school, I didn't finish school year 12. I left in year 11, started year 11. I dropped out oh, yep. to do cabinet making. Not because I really, really wanted to, but just I didn't want to be at school. So, so um, exactly like me. Yeah. Like so I was just like, yeah, I enjoyed being at school um, for the social aspect of it. Um, and, and like I enjoy being around people and, and, and that. But, as far as like the school academic side of it goes, it wasn't for me. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I, I got. I think I did actually just like a um, work placement, you know, and um, kept, uh, that one just I don't know. I can't remember how I got into it, but yeah, I, I went there and I was doing it sort of one afternoon a week or whatever. And um, I think they offered me like part time work. Yeah, nice. And so it kind of just like fell into it. Yeah. Um, but I do remember like grade nine. I think it was Miss Mister Sealy. I think it's okay. What school was that at? Wynnum High. I've I have I've heard of a Mr. Sealy because my brother went to Wynnum High. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Yeah, Sealy. What did he teach? Uh wood woodwork and yeah. amongst other things. My brother used to always talk about Mr. Sealy. Yeah, so yeah. Mr. Sealy. He he um you know, I don't want to talk bad about anyone. He was a nice enough guy. But I just remember him like I, I must have done a dodgy job of something. And I remember him saying to me, Oh, I don't think you've really got the knack for <laughs> for this. So I don't know if like deep down like that sort of sunk in or or, or like Pretty sat there and yeah. yeah. So um once I but once I got into the um the cabinet making shop and that was like a more commercial one, I loved it and yeah. like I just loved the probably because I was a young guy too and I don't know I thought I was cooler than all the guys at school because I was Still working and yeah. um so yeah it was just it was cool and I, I sort of um I just got into it then and I just knew that I didn't want to go back to school full time. Yeah. So that was kind of that was kind of it. The rest kind of you know, I worked at a few different places off and on, but I I even went back to Tafe I went to TAFE rather, um, to do carpentry. Okay. Uh, you know, and do year eleven as well. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Um, but even like I did the, the carpentry course, but I don't I didn't think I even finished the year eleven part of it. You know, I just I couldn't it's do it. For you I just all. couldn't do it. Yeah. So um I'm sure it would have benefited me, um, but you know, I married a teacher, so she sort of she, Mate, look, she looks after us there. Then, yeah, that's right. Used to be a teacher, yeah. yeah, okay, yeah. I think I knew yeah, that. Yeah, and I quit school at year eleven. Did you? Yeah, to become a Sparky. And what school were you at? I was at Re- oh, I was at Redlands for one year. Yeah, right. Yeah, and then I did the voc ed, um, like the vocational education yep. thing. Yeah, and then um, I was like, no more. So I actually finished year eleven, but then over the Christmas holidays, yeah, I was like. Mum and Dad, I don't want to go back to school. Yep. I said, That'll do great, it. but you got to find an apprenticeship. And yep. so I fell into the electrical. So And same sort of, like, you, you weren't looking for electrical? or you No. Not really. Like, my dad was a Sparky. Yeah. He was a Marine Sparky. Yeah. He just retired, like, 
last year, I think. And, yeah, right. Um, so it was kind of the thing to fall into. And I th- and yeah. he had a mate who was the owner of this business. Yeah. I think he was actually – it's weird that I think the owner of the business was originally my dad's apprentice or something. Right. But then, yeah, okay. But this guy, similar, he – the owner of the business, it was him and his other fella, and they owned, you know, this massive electrical business. Yep. You would never, ever think that they were electricians. Either, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Eyes. Yeah. So I fell into that, and then um, I reckon, uh, probably a little bit different to you, though, I reckon by the end of my first year, I was like, what have I done? Yeah, yeah. Mistake. <laughs> yeah. Control Z. I want to go back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. But yep. it was kind of like, well... Going back means going back to school. Yeah. I might as well just finish this thing. Yeah. But it was a long four years. That's yeah. Sure. <laughs> oh, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I certainly had lots of moments where <laughs> I was donezo. Did you, you make know? any, like, massive mistakes as a- Oh. Oh, as an apprentice? Yeah. Oh, mate. What do you reckon the worst one was? Oh, gosh. There was a lot. I, I, well, actually, like, so the, the, the guy I ended up doing my apprenticeship with, he was, it was just kind of me and him. It was like a, oh, right. the smallest yeah. kind of just place he could man, work. Man, yeah. Totally. You know, um, it's funny because I actually learned everything from him. Yeah. Um, but in hindsight, he was a terrible boss, like terrible, you know, like uh, nowadays, like no, in hindsight, I, I should have, like sued the pants off him. You know, he just like- What did he he, do? he he Well, half the- Like if I did make a mistake, he would just take it out of my pay or not pay me at all. Wow, well, yeah. I don't, I don't think that's legal. I don't think you can do that. <laughs> yeah. So, so you know, there was stuff like that where I, I, I was so scared of that happening that it made me actually really um, careful, really, really um, particular and- and fussy um, with what I was doing because yeah. I knew that he he was the type of guy that was gonna potentially not pay me. The repercussions, of yeah, the, yeah, so, made you not slack off. Oh, and yeah. so I just would, you know, like um, there's that saying like measure twice, cut once. Yeah. Well, that really for me, I did that, but it was like measure like six times <laughs> yeah. because yeah. like I knew the the repercussions of not doing it were huge, and so and the, it, there was there was loads of things um. And he wasn't the only one like that, but I had a couple of pretty psycho bosses that <laughs> they would just do stuff like a, one one guy was like this Viking, big, huge, burly guy, yeah. and he was I was just scared to death of him. And he would like he got me building kickboards. That was like the first oh, thing yeah, I did, yeah. just simple. Like in a kitchen, I yeah, kitchen, kitchen kickboards. Yeah, so sort of like a ladder frame. Okay. You'd be nailing them together and stuff. But if I ever skewed a nail, so misfire and it'd shoot out the side. He would just come up to me, just completely calm, and when I wasn't ready, just with his hammer, just smash it to pieces in front of me. Wow, like absolute psycho. Yeah, that's and cool. so and so, but but you know, I became such a gun with the nail gun. <laughs> yeah, I didn't skew a nail. No, and it's that type of thing where it's a terrible way to learn. But man, I learnt real good. Like baptism by fire. Yeah, so exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and yeah. so it's so it only took me a few kind of you know there were some other things like um I had a whole kitchen once where all the overheads we just finished building and they were all on the floor because we were it was in the factory they were all on the floor and the, my job was as the apprentice was to screw drill the holes for the handles and screw the handles on which I did yeah. really well except for the overheads were on the floor and so I put all the handles on the top of the doors. Oh no. And I just remember my boss coming out and he just absolutely lost it. Like, he he was just like, he could not even understand what you he can't, was saying. Because holes in there now. They were ruined. Yeah. The whole thing. Like, it would have cost him, you know, like a small company like that too. Yeah. It would have been a big deal. Yeah. So, oh, I never did that again either. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, so um, tough lessons, hey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and there was definitely some stuff that I learned the hard way that you no one should have to. Yeah. But, I mean- I don't know. the 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 difference is that nowadays it's it's such the opposite to that that it's almost like a, a you're doing a disservice to the apprentice. Yeah, yeah. You not not, not you want to you don't want to like hurt them or anything like that. But there's no like repercussions or yeah. I don't know. It's just flipped the whole opposite yeah. way where where you just now have like or well, in my experience you have so many people that they have no care because. 
they don't need to. There's no repercussions. Yeah, it's they so just hard can to just fire someone. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. That's exactly right. Yeah, um, it's it's all for like the employee. And everyone's and worried about if you're you're worried about saying something because it might get interpreted yeah. wrong, oh. and then you end up in court. Or oh, hundred percent. These sort of things with yeah, the fair work. That's that's right. Yeah, which is fair work's great, but I think it's kind of. And not necessarily fair work, but it's the people have kind of interpreted it and gone, oh, well, I don't know where the line is now. Yeah. Well, so I'm just going to go a thousand yards. Exactly. Who it. does? All the all the workplace health and safety stuff's just out of control. <laughs> yeah. Because, uh, yeah, um, where I work, it's it's 99% of it's uh, commercial work. And so, you know, just, just uh, there's some buildings in the city I've been work- I've worked in over, over the years. It's like you've got to have three points of contact at all times, all that sort of stuff. Where, yeah. So you're walking down the stairs and they're ch- constantly checking that you're holding on the handrail and you've got two feet on the floor and like just, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I get it. I get it. But, um, great, the dog's here. I should, <laughs> should, I get, I should get rid of it. <laughs> no, it's all right. All right. You just hear it clomping right. around. Yeah, you'll be all right. So, yeah, that's, um, that, I don't know. I can, I can understand like, uh, on one hand, like for the reasons for all of those things, and the necessity for them. But, yeah. you know, yeah, like you say, it's just, it's like all of those things are on steroids because no one knows. Yeah. I remember when I was a Sparky and I kind of, my apprenticeship was kind of like half of it was before that all came in. Yeah. And um, the, I reckon in my third year, they brought in all the, um, you had to have a step ladder. Have you yeah. seen like, the platform ladders? Uh, yes. We've, Those things are useless. We had to get rid of all of our ladders <laughs> yeah. and buy platform ladders. Yeah. Yeah, because and then and that's only for like working in a in, in a room this tall. Yeah. You gotta have for full But you can't get in the ceiling. Nah. <laughs> yeah. And then you see the boys anyway and they're up on top of the railing yeah. of the ladder. Trying like, to get well, in that's there. no good. <laughs> yeah. You know? You so know. it's gone it's gone crazy. <laughs> yeah. But what do you do? No. Nah. I remember the, the the my biggest mistake I reckon I ever made as a Sparky, and now I was already I probably wasn't the best apprentice looking back on it. I was pretty <laughs> rubbish at what I did. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't rubbish, but I just wasn't. I didn't I didn't want to be an electrician. I think maybe yeah. was the big, so I didn't yeah, really yeah. put the time and effort in. Yeah, but um, we were doing data cabling, and so yeah, we did. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, like looms of seventy two yep. cables through. Yep. And so we did um, the Queensland Emergency Operations Centre. So that's over at Kedron. Yeah. So it's like the huge Queensland base for all their communications. If you call triple zero. Yeah, we do all the, the desks for them. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, so we did all the data for them. Oh, right. When they first built the building. And so if you imagine we're pulling in like in that underneath that floor is mm. just thousands mm. and thousands yeah. of cables. And so if you pull in a data cable, you've got to kind of write – you know, one, you know, in a permanent marker, say the number one. Yep. And then at the other end, write one because you've got to know yeah. which cable's which. That's right? right. So we had them all pulled this, like hundreds of meters of cable out of these boxes, all ready to go, all coiled up. And I stepped back and knocked over a big, massive tin of paint. No. <laughs> but no. And so. Most of it's already in the ceiling. Oh, gosh. But my, the paint went all over the numbers. That's a, that's a big mistake. <laughs> oh. It was the so what did you do? I this was just before like smoko or lunch, and um, <laughs> so everyone's like, "You you deal with that, <laughs> you're done." So I had to try and get all the Wipe pain it off. off it, and um, we ended up no, none of the cables we knew the thing, so we had to manually go through like a multimeter at the oh. end and try and find it. And I had to do that in my own time. Oh, gosh, and that I remember coming home going, oh, "I just want to quit." Oh yeah, <laughs> that's oh. not good. I think actually it was only a day after that that my like supervisor, he wasn't on the tools, but he kind of pulled me aside and went, "Either, either something happens here, like where you yeah. get better, yeah, or <laughs> yeah. maybe if maybe or, or electricians not the best for you." But I was like third year, I think, at that time, so I was like, "I've only got a year to go. I've just got to get there." You just got to suck. And I did pull. It. I got pulled myself into shape a bit. Yeah, but I was like, "Oh, this is." Oh, those worse. type of things can like can can help to. Yeah, shape you. Oh, definitely. I never sure. did that again. No, never knocked that's right. paint. And yeah. like even when I was became a tradie, like I would have apprentices, and I'd be like, "Do not know. like you know, yeah. you're just aware all the yeah, time." Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and I think yeah, those things do help. But man, it sucked at the time. <laughs> oh, mate. Yeah, he, there's, there's those feelings. Um, I had a, uh, I had, I don't, I usually always had an apprentice with me on whatever jobs I was on. Yeah. And um, uh, we do a lot of early starts in the city, 
and sometimes we'd do like foyer fit outs, wall, like wall cladding. And I'll never forget um, one morning, it was like a 4 a.m. start um, because as soon as the building office hours started, it was like busy. It was yeah, like ma- uh, ma- a madhouse. You can't be in there. Yeah. And um, so my job was to like, yeah, do this wall cladding in and around all the lifts. Oh, and yeah. it was just a real simple thing. And I always knew you don't muck around with lift call buttons. You don't touch them, you know, because- What's a li- What do you mean lift? So the button you press to oh, bring yeah. the lift down. Yeah. And but our like panelling was going in that, all around. Yeah, just control don't, panel. Off. There's like you know, the, on all those jobs, they get the lift company out, they undo three screws, they hold, they pull it back. You go, you know. Yeah. But this one day, for whatever reason, I was like, oh, you know, it's one panel. Just pull it. off. I've got it. Yeah. Take the screws off. Of course, I was in like the oldest building in the city. I can't even remember which one, but it was just like <laughs> I should have known. Yeah. And and I'm just wiggling that control panel thing off, and I'm like trying to have a look behind. To see like what's behind there, and as soon as I had it off enough to see, I immediately knew I'd made a mistake, and there was just like ten thousand wires, oh, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just a rat's nest. <laughs> <laughs> and I um, and I remember my apprentice was like, "Oh wow, man, there's so many wires," <laughs> and just as he said that, like one of the wires was like, oh, and like let go, off. yeah, and everything just like stopped, oh. and I, and he's like, "Oh." The light, the lights have gone in the, you know, and I was like, oh, I knew I was in trouble, and so I like sort of tried to just put it back, and no, nah, it was shut down. So I'm like looking for numbers. I'm ringing companies. It is four in the morning. It's yeah. four thirty. There's no one there. No one's coming out. Yeah. And then so it was like the worst like two hours of my life, trying to work out what to do. Yeah. Then people started getting to work, and as it turns out, there was a few floors of specialist doctors and stuff, and they literally couldn't get up. They couldn't even go through the stairwell yeah. for whatever reason. Yeah. And they were just screaming at me. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah, like- they don't oh, take kindly to tradies. Oh, they're like, they? we've got we've got, we've got got procedures today. We've got people coming. Like, And I tell you, I had never felt that sick. Mm. And um, it was just like a, an awful sort of helpless feeling. And my apprentice, I knew that he, I could tell that he knew I- was not doing well because he he just stayed quiet and just sort of kept busy. He was moving around doing absolutely nothing, but he was just keeping himself busy so that I I wouldn't get bothered by him. Yeah, and he actually put a posted note on one of the lift doors. It just wrote out of service, <laughs> just to try to help. So yeah. it was just an awful day, and and eventually, like we you know we got onto the company and they came, but it was like by ten o'clock. Yeah, that's pretty. It was a massive. Massive fail. That's brutal. So I, I, ever since then, it's like any of the boys are going to any jobs like that. I'm like, mate, don't touch the lips. Yeah, yeah. Not worth it, you know? Yeah. So there's lots of things like that you do. You learn lessons pretty quick. Yeah. Last story about uh, trade stuff and then we can move on. Do <laughs> um, you know Sullivan Nicolades? Yes. Like the yep. blood testing yep. place. We, um, I don't know if I should say all this stuff. But <laughs> who knows? It's out there you can now. cut it later. I don't know. Um, we had the... The contract for them, mm-hmm. the company I worked for, had the maintenance contract. Yep. So they had a big lab over at Chewinga yep. like where you do a blood test, it goes there and gets put through and they've got all um, like dudes looking in microscopes and as yeah. they're, like, like we're doing, they're kind of talking through what they're seeing. And yeah, they're, right. So in, anyway, they got these huge machines that have all these little, all the blood goes through and it, I don't know how long, it looked like it took like an hour or something. It's like a big conveyor. Far it goes out. through and there's all blood samples that it goes through. One of the guys there from our company, we did it. We had been working there for years, right? Yeah. He decides I'm going to have to turn the main switchboard off, but it's going to go on to generator. So it's like, great. It's fine. Yeah. You know, okay. It's perfect. Yeah. It happens all the time, right? What he didn't check, though, was if the generator had fuel. No. <laughs> <laughs> and, but what he did is he, he, and then so the main switchboard, but then the generator is like a while ago away. So you don't even know if it started, but it's meant to automatically yeah, start, right? Yeah, yeah. So he flicked the main switch off. Great. He didn't go inside to see if any lights had come back on or whatever, and then just started pulling apart the switchboard. <laughs> just trusting. That just it. trusting. <laughs> no. But what had happened is he would literally shut down this whole lab. All the all good grief. All power's gone. It, yeah. The machines panic have stopped mode halfway inside. through. There's blood. People oh. are talking into their microscopes, and it's now gone pitch black. And the recordings have all stopped. Oh, no. But then when people came out and started screaming at him, he realized, 
I've just one of the pieces that I've pulled, like parts I've pulled out of the board as I'm pulling it out because the generator's on. I've just broken that piece, <laughs> and he's waiting for the apprentice to bring him, like from the wholesaler oh. that piece. So their lab was down for like two hours. Good grief! And um, that would be some money. Oh yeah, but all the apparently like most of the blood samples were we, a lot we, of no, were ruined. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't know. We never really spoke about it, but I don't know how our company kept going. After wow. That. Yeah. <laughs> I imagine there would have been some conversations yeah. though. Far but we continued. Out. From what I remember, though, we continued to have the contract. So mm. maybe, maybe, maybe it was like too our hard to get someone else. Had something over there yeah. or something. I don't Far know. out. But yeah, that's crazy. Well, that'd be a story that he has. Oh yeah. You know. Oh uh, yeah. He was a yeah. Yeah. He was a crazy fella. So. <laughs> I don't know where he would be right now, to be honest. Mate, you, you, you could write novels, couldn't you? Like, <clears throat> even just the people that I work with, combined stories, there'd be volumes and volumes. Yeah. There's yeah. just, it's endless. It's endless. Everyone makes mistakes. So what I'd say to some of the young fellas, if they ever come in and see me and they're upset about something that's happened, I'm like, listen, man, <clears throat> you know, if you're coming in and owning your problem, that's half, like that's half the battle right there for <laughs> yeah. like people are in in a any sort of senior position, like getting someone to acknowledge that they've made a mistake. Yeah, that's that's and that's a big part. I try and cover it up. Yeah, yeah, you know, like the mistake sucks. Yeah, but you know, we all make mistakes, so you can move on. It's like just just get back to work, get it, you know, get it sorted out and 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 learn from it. Yeah. But it's it's the people that don't have any sort of um sense of of remorse or. Guilt about stuff. They're they're the ones that you don't want to have around, <laughs> because they there's just no care. No, they don't give us stuff. Yeah, and 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 so and it's pretty. You can you can usually work out pretty quickly who those people are. Yeah, it doesn't take much to even look at them working to know. Yeah, they just there's no passion. There's yeah, no, there's no, just nothing. Yeah. So I mean, I always used to use that. If this wouldn't be good enough for you in your house, <clears throat> why would it be good enough for someone paying paying us to do it? Yeah. And um, but if you don't have someone that cares, then that doesn't mean anything. No, they just because like, people go, well, "Well, I treat treat things like crap in my own house." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, one you, of those you, you, people. Yeah. Hey? So it's it's hard, <laughs> and it's harder and harder to get um, people, the right type of people. Yeah. Why do you think that is? Well, I mean, I I I actually believe it's got a lot to do with your parents. Mm. Personally, like, um, I feel like if you brought up. Yeah, you know, I mean, within reason, but I feel like if you're, you know, well, for me, you know, um, I just feel like watching my old man um, always bust his gut, give it everything he had, made me have that same sort of like drive, yeah, yeah, um, and and care. So, um, and I mean, like you know, you can't say it, it doesn't apply to everyone in every situation, but I certainly think sometimes, like you, you can see like a younger person who mightn't be that great or whatever. And if you sort of get the chance to have a look at like their parents and something, sometimes you can go, okay, yeah, you know, yeah. you know, I'm not trying to sound too judgy, but sometimes you can go, right, well, now that kind of makes a bit more sense. No, definitely, it puts because they context. haven't perhaps been given the yeah. right guidance and. Yeah. direction in, su- in certain things and then sometimes it doesn't even take someone like i don't think my old man was ever like do be like this and do this it was just that i watched him yeah or um because you know like um i grew up in a prezi church where and dad literally like and he's still there now plays the organ he's a treasurer oh, he, really? he, okay. he, he did like the youth group yeah right. w- all the way through you know he, he did everything yeah so we were like the first One's there, me and dad, and the last one's to go. And and, and in, even though it was just a small church thing, it all applies. Yeah. Um, so you've modelled that kind of – that act of service, I guess. I, you know, I you guess. Know, turning up. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, you know. And so, um, yeah, I think when you don't have that or something like that as a good foundation when you're young, well, then it's harder and harder as you get older because, I mean, ultimately I think what usually happens then is – you you still want to model yourself off someone, yeah. So then you, you those kind of kids then maybe they model themselves off their mates yeah. or someone who's not the best influence. Oh, it's or- exactly true. Like it's that whole you see it so often that 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 cycle, yeah. Right? Like and you see it in much um, what's the word? Like much sadder circumstances than yeah, just oh, yeah. in a trade. Like even in the even drugs and things yep. like that. Like you, oh mate. the parents and the kids and the parents yeah. and the kids. Oh, um, it's like it's it's, a, it's awful and it is. I, I've so 
when you're talking about judging before, like I found myself so often being super frustrated at somebody and being like, "What is this person so useless? Like, how did they yeah. end up like this?" Yep. And then you meet their parents and you're like, "Oh, okay, I see, yeah. like I see, I yeah. see now. Like you haven't had that person yeah, you modeling. That's right. And it's one of like you can obviously you can look elsewhere." And see other people who aren't who are doing not what I'm trying to think of the right word, not necessarily doing better things, but just living a different life. Yeah. But there's that, especially if it's your parent. Like there's such a thing of, okay, well that but that's what they've been doing. Yeah. It's subconsciously, you kind of sometimes drawn to that. Oh, hundred yeah. percent. Like I'm exactly like my dad. Yeah. It's it's, it's that's crazy. I don't. It's sparky. I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I get in, so in the, frustrated with my dad sometimes. Yep. Like, I'm like, how is he like that? Yep. And then Danny's like, you're exactly the same. Yeah. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, Michelle says that I'm like my mother. Oh, and right. That does, that when she says that, I'm like, oh, yeah. please don't say that. Yeah. I love my mum. Don't get me wrong, but she drives me nuts. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, no, I, I definitely feel like and, – and, and so sometimes I, you know, if the kids are being like feral, our kids. Yeah. Which is pretty much every day. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I go, I sort of think to myself, man, what am I doing wrong? You know, is it, mm. you know. And you put that responsibility on yourself. Yeah, you kind of like far out. But anyway, that's There's a whole There's a balance other. there though, isn't there? Yeah, yeah there, definitely. there definitely is. There definitely is. But I think um, <clears throat> I think you, you sort of, well, I, I know that I hope um, that I, I conduct myself in a way or that my kids see me living out my life in such a way that, you know, even whether I know it or not, like they are um, potentially gonna be like mimicking behaviors or or or, or a yeah. way of life that you know is is for the good. Yeah, you want to instill those. those yeah, things in them. yeah, yeah that's right. So you know whether I'm doing a good job of that. Well, who knows? <laughs> I'm sure you are. But um, they seem like friendly kids when they. Well, when you know they go pretty rank. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I think all kids. Oh, are mate, I don't know. I had um our, our old neighbour. I think. We must have had all four kids, but um, they only had one kid. And uh, they're good friends of ours, and um, they were trying for another baby. <clears throat> and um, I just remember coming home from work one day, and he was out the front, and uh, he just, like, waved me down, and we were having a chat. And um, he's like, mate, I, I don't know how you do it. And I was like, how you do what? He's like, how do you have four kids? And I was like, mate, I've got no idea. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, day by day, like, don't die. Yeah. You know, and then beyond that, no one knows. <laughs> you know, like, I, I think, like, you can- There's no plan. Oh, mate, there's no plan. You yeah. just get up, don't die, and then if you don't die, you do it all again tomorrow yeah. and hope you do something right yeah. along the way. If you know? no one died, it's, oh, a high, mate. it's a high distinction. <laughs> yeah, beyond that, I've got nothing. So we sort of, like, I remember when Shell first got pregnant, you know, someone gave her a book, like one of those what to expect oh, yeah, books yeah. or whatever. And I think, like, she, I'm sure she read it all the way through. But then, like, you realise that, man, it's all just very general stuff. And it's like, no one knows what your kid's going to be like. No. And so, no one knows how you should raise them or how you should deal with any particular yeah, there's thing. there's no manual for it. There's no manual for yeah. it. It's and, just like, you just work it out. And in that moment, that probably goes out the window. Oh, you forget all that gear. It's like in the, I caught a plane this week. And they, you know how they say the safety talk thing? Yeah. And I was, I was thinking, like, I had this thought. I was like, if we crash, like, I am not remembering nah, any you're of You're kicking this. doors out. or <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're not. You're not. Yeah, That's exactly I'm, right. I just, I just, I don't know why. I just sat there thinking, I'm like, if they come over the radio and say, we're going yeah, down, we're going down <laughs> I'm not thinking about that little leaflet. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me get that it. unfolded. Yeah. yeah. No, you're not. No. You're not. And, and probably they're not either. No. Exactly. You know, like. It'll just be, it'll be chaos. Yeah. Deploy. <laughs> slides, you know, yeah, it's, that's exactly right. You know, in the heat of the moment, you just yeah. do stuff. It's so much like best. life as well, though. Hey, yeah, oh, even um, like Michelle this week because she's a teacher at Redlands. All oh, right, yeah. And, what, is, uh, what grade does she teach? She's actually doing learning enrichment okay. this year. What so, does that mean? <clears throat> she, all the kids that need like extra help. All right, you that know, me. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, no particular one grade. I think that's right. I should know. Like but learning support kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think like heading up a that department or as one of the main like three people. Okay. Sounds good. That could all be wrong. I'm 
It sounds Mate, great. We'll she tells me stuff, now. but you know, <laughs> yeah. uh, I apologize, Shell, if you're listening. So, um, yeah, she's she did a you know like they do the first aid um, refresher courses and all that, and she was telling me, and I thought this was interesting. You know, over the years she's done them, and there's all like the how how many breaths and then how many compressions and all that stuff, which like the same thing in the heat of like someone potentially dying in front of you, I, I reckon you'd find that hard to remember. Yeah. Well, then now this one she just did, it was like. It was just compressions. There was no yeah. breaths. And it's like, I'm like, well, that makes- It's smarter. Yeah. You know, you got a lot more chance of going, I know how, you know, how to do the compression. I can remember that and then just go for it. Yeah. And they, I think they say, if you can do breaths, it's a bonus. Yeah, of course. But I think we had our first aid as well. And they're like, most of the people that have actually been resuscitated- Yep. They haven't done the breaths. Yeah. Like, um, yeah. Yeah, you're just turning over the- Yeah, I don't actually know how many people- I don't know how effective it is, but I'm guessing it is effective. Well, yeah, well, I assume be, so. We keep doing it. But when she was telling me about all that, I was like, "That see, that to me, that makes sense. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, because in the heat of the moment, people just yeah. react. Yeah, I've learned. It's, it's, I think as well with, especially with the internet now and even just like social media and YouTube, for instance, yep. is an instructional for everything, oh, right? everything. And a plan. Even with this podcast, yep. there are so many videos on it. Oh, how yeah, how to podcast, do it, what, yep. your what you need. Be. And I found myself reading all those and getting overwhelmed. Yeah. I was like, why don't I just go talk do to people? Yeah, just go do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Well, like, what, from what I've heard, they're, they're great. No, oh, thanks. <laughs> so I, I think you're right. You can get really caught up in mm. all the – Find mechanics of things, and yeah. you, you get so overwhelmed. It's like paralysis like, by analysis, kind of thing. Exactly. Yeah. 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 It, it's just like you just got to do something. Like, uh, what's that saying? Um, sometimes things are better felt than tell. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I remember hearing that years ago, and it's like so true. Mm. You can like get taught something, and over and over, be sitting in school or whatever it is, someone can tell you, and you can know front to back the processes. But still, when it comes to the practical application, just suck at it because yeah. you've never done it. No, exactly. So you just got to just just do it. Just do it. Yeah. yeah. So I think that that's that's I've always liked that saying because I think it's really true. yeah, it's so true. Yeah, definitely. It's, I mean, it's not for everything, but yeah, yeah. And I think it's it varies for people, but I think mm. most for most people, I reckon it would it would be like that. Yeah, you learn. I learn by doing. That's I know right. I do anyway. Yeah, and I think the education system. I think it's starting to catch up with that as well. Like, yeah, well, they don't really have a choice. I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I'm sure it helps someone, but I remember when we used to, they'd write out, you know, what year did Captain Cook do uh, this yeah. or whatever. Yeah. I remember the first settlers, and you'd have to write it down, repeat it, write it down. Mm. They would Just then like ask me, in. okay, what year did Captain Cook? No idea. But then I remember we did a, I don't even, I, this was years, like primary school, they had like some, I don't know who they were, but they all came in and like acted out like the oh. like a weird theater yeah. thing or whatever. I was, yeah, as like a kid who was obsessed with sport, I was like, yeah, pass. what is happening? <laughs> but I remembered all the dates from it. Yeah, know, right. Because it was it was visual. Yeah, you, you could, could retain see some that. dude dressed as Captain Cook in his little like yeah. socks up to his knees, yeah, and this yeah. sort of thing, talking on. about it. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look like a barrister. Or yeah, something. exactly. Yeah, and, and that uh, worked. Well, there you go. But it did work. It so like, there worked is, for me, you know. Yeah, but I had probably written that down. Oh, not hundreds of times, but a lot of times. Yeah, there was some it just never sunk in. No, nah, nah. so you just I get saw. into all like autopilot mode. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. No, I, 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 um, I think that's definitely there's something to that. And so I, it's funny too because um, I had this that boss the, the one I did a lot of my one. apprenticeship with. He um, he would teach me stuff. Good stuff, and then I'd be doing it, and I'd look at him, and he wouldn't be doing that. What he taught me, and I'd be like, "Hang on, that's you, you're doing it different, though." And he'd go, "Mate, do as I say, not as I do." Oh. And I'm like, "That's terrible," and, <laughs> yeah. you know, like I'm not going to retain that one because that's a terrible thing. To, yeah, that's you know, what like, you say as a joke <laughs> when you know you're doing something wrong. Yeah, yeah, that was just his thing. I'm just like, okay, oh, wow. I'll, I'll I'll retain the good stuff you've taught me, and I'll just delete those few things yeah. from the memory bank. So it's fascinating how people, um, I like that. Like, um, yeah, especially le- like people in leadership positions. Yep. I I don't know. Like, I always think. Maybe it's just because I've grown up with people and leaders who are always trying to, you know, be better leaders yeah. and they're looking for resources Do it right. and help. Yep. Like, go and read, like, 
any leadership book. Yeah. Like pick one of the 500,000 or millions that are in the world. Yeah. And it was probably one of the points in there will not be exactly the opposite of what you're saying. <laughs> That's you right. Know? Yeah. Even if you read a chapter of a book, yeah. you'll probably become a better leader. Yeah. You know? Like yeah. I don't, I oh, don't get that's it. That's exactly right. Yeah. Why did, but unfortunately yeah. there are a lot of It's that old school model, yeah. isn't it? It is. And he might as we're talking about, he might have been he might have had an when he was an apprentice, yeah, his oh, boss was exactly like Oh, that, I'm know? I'm sure it was like that. Yeah. So yeah. um yeah, I think I was lucky in that I got to learn um kind of like the technical part of the trade what um in a small setting. Yeah. You know, really hands on and everything, and then I was able to like break away uh, at the right time. Yeah, definitely. So it's just a very different. It's very different now. Yeah, as it is for a lot of professions. Yeah, I think so. You know, it's so, pretty rare. I think that that kind yeah. of is tolerated anymore. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. There's, you can't really go and you know we used to. I I got sent out. Um, I got sent to the next business next door once for a long wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and and but there was other stuff like you know catching holding a bucket catching catching like um under the grinder like trying catching to catch sparks. Them. Yeah. Yeah. All of that gear. And then but some of the other stuff, you know, like where it was a bit more like they, were, they might have been actually inflicting some pain on you and stuff like I mean, if you ask me now, it was fine, but you'd get you'd be done for it. Oh yeah, I got um I got done and I also did it to people where if one of the guys had his head up in the manhole or yeah. like in the ceiling, we'd go up and cable tie his legs to the ladder and then use our megas like they're, so they're, they're a meter that you can actually inject voltage Do down a give cable. Him a, give him a boot. Yeah, and you give him a belt. Yeah, so on these <laughs> oh, yeah. legs and stuff. And so he can't move. He can't jump off because, and it happened to me, and that's how I know oh, how mate. to do it. That'd but, be on the news now. If yeah, that happened. yeah, it was awful. Oh, but at the time, it was hilarious. Oh, and yeah, like it didn't. It's not this. It's not like you're hanging onto a PowerPoint, but it's no. It's like hitting a trampoline, like you know, like a trampoline zap. Yeah, times probably a hundred. And yeah, so that's decent. Yeah, it's pretty pretty gnarly. <laughs> you, you <laughs> yeah, feel it's that. almost like a bit of a. If you get it in the right spot. Um, it would be like a bit of a taser almost. Yeah, right. But yeah, pretty awesome. Good times. <laughs> yeah. We had like full-blown full blown nail gun fights and stuff, <laughs> you know, where I'm, I think we wore safety glasses, but I mean- Oh, that's good. Yeah, Nothing you know, uh, mate, we would be like pulling the nails like oh. out of our skin, but even afterwards we thought it was awesome. Yeah. You know, just, just stupid fun. stuff. It's like a happy- Have you seen Happy Gilmore? I think oh, it's mate, Happy yeah. Gilmore where he's- Hitting the guy, the boss, and he gets it in his head or something. Have you seen that? <laughs> yes, yeah. I've seen that. Yeah. Is that Happy Gilmore? Yeah. I think so. I think that is. Yeah. No, yeah. but there's just, mate, we, oh, just some of the stuff we did was so stupid. Like, belt. we got two belt sanders once. Oh, no. And we, yeah, the competition was to see how far you could get down the factory floor. You stood on you stood on each one, <laughs> and then you just put pull the trigger and just take off down the floor. <laughs> on a belt sander. On a belt sander. <laughs> two belt sanders. That's awesome. Didn't go well. No, I it didn't go well. It did, yeah, know. I think some people were pretty badly hurt. Yeah, at the time we thought it was cool. Yeah, but, yeah. Now yeah. that I'm a little older and wiser, I can say, well, potentially. I think that it's was a bad a, it's call. just a it's such a natural thing for especially blokes. I reckon yeah. to do, we just yeah, do just stupid muck things, around. Hey? Yeah. Oh, you do a lot of stupid things, though. So. Yeah, we um we sent an apprentice once to go to he went all the way to the paint place to ask for striped paint. Brilliant. Yep. <laughs> And like you know, we think oh, it's so cliche. Yeah, everyone's done it. But he, yeah, he was there. And he calling up the boss. Yeah, the boys just sent me down to get striped paint. I can't find it here. Like I've asked everybody, they don't know. Maybe because the guys at I think it was at Bunnings. Oh, they, so they probably, oh. they've had it so many times. Yeah, they lead them on as it's, well. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, oh, I think it might be in aisle six. Or oh no, go and have a look yeah. down there. <laughs> yeah, all those. There's so many of those different ones. There, there is. There's a lot. There's yeah. a lot. I think I had most of them done to me. Yeah. That's how you land. Now you're just like, mate, don't do any of that gear. Yeah, yeah. Too risky. And you always say, oh, I did this to an apprentice, but it's after mm. it was done to you. Mm. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. You need to get your turn. You don't tell everybody that it happened to you first. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. That's right. So you, you mentioned that you went to Whittem High. Have you always lived in this area then? Yeah, so I um, haven't really gone too far. I have grew up Manly West. All right. Or I think actually maybe Whittem West. What street? Um, so Baybreeze Street. Baybreeze, where's that? Where's um, that near? So it's you know where the vet is. Um, oh yeah, Manly Road vet. Yeah, yeah, near the school. So just just near there. All right. Um, like a couple of blocks back from there. Yeah, right. Um, 
and then moved to Marbury Street, which is like a few more blocks, but almost the same. Because I went to Wandle State School. There you go. Um, and then, and then went, went moved to Blackwood Road, which was just just near the water towers. Yeah, my brother used to live on Blackwood. Road. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, hey Willow, this is one of the kids still not asleep, Hello. so that's good. How are you? <laughs> you should better go find Mummy, darling. Yeah, go find Mummy. Anyway, uh, as you can see, we run a pretty tight ship oh, here. Oh, mate, it's all happening. Mate, kids just in bed 7 o'clock every night. <laughs> yeah. So, um, that, yeah. That, that yell's going Oh, well. man. <laughs> man, unfortunately, half of men are up in our bed. I figure you need your water bowl. Okay, now, go grab something there. One of those. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, went to um, went to Wyndham High. Okay, Dale, fill it up. <laughs> and um, now you've upset the dog. Oh, it's all good. It's, it's uh, authentic. So, oh, mate. Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised no one's screaming, to be honest. Oh, there's the there's the, <laughs> the tap. <laughs> the dog's nails on the floor. And yeah, I thought we would have heard Shell screaming by now. So, no. um, yeah. So, I went to Wyndham High and um, that was interesting. Wyndham yeah. High was interesting. Did you have Mr. What what year were you around there? Okay. Um, would have been. So, I left in 99. So ninety five to ninety nine, okay, yeah, something yeah. like that. I think was that's the right. principal Mr. Werder or whatever? Mr. Werder at that time, yeah, and yeah. Mr. Hunt was the deputy. Okay, principal, but yeah, Mr. Werder. Yeah, um, I don't know what happened to him. I don't know. He was. I think my brother went. My younger brother went to school with his daughter because okay. I went to Manly State School. Oh, okay, yeah. So I used to live in Wynnum. Yeah, right. Grew up there in yep. Irene Street, which is like you know where the I old know. fire station used to be. Yeah, yeah. it's like the street that's. Not parallel, perpendicular. Yeah, okay. Down, down there. Yeah, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah. Yeah, so I was there. And yeah, then, right. Because that's then. a house now, that fire station. Yeah. Yeah. We used to be able to hear, they used to have a loudspeaker. And yep. so you'd hear the call come through. Yeah, right. And then it all all the details and everything. Like from that, we were probably wow. maybe 150, 200 metres from it. Yeah, right. But you'd, Poor you'd be, people next door. Oh, yeah. I don't know how out. they did it. And you'd be lying in bed. At like midnight, and then you'd hear the like full loudspeaker of what's going on, and then they, without fail, it could be four a.m. in the morning, three a.m. All the sirens are going. Yeah, off they went. Yeah, your like, neighbourhood's up. How do you? What is Far wrong out. with you? That's Who's around you know? that you need to have all the oh, sirens on? Just because it's cool, I suppose. Yeah, I guess so. Part of being a fire. <laughs> but um, yeah. So Wynnum High, it was um, I mean, I suppose it was like any state yeah. high school, but you know, had its fair share of. Bust ups. Yeah. A couple of bomb threats and oh, yeah, nice. a couple of actual bombs, I think, and a couple of stabbings when I was there. And yeah, so it was it was interesting. You want in yeah, school, I think so. It? it was well rounded, you know. Yeah, yeah. You got a you got a bit of life experience there before yeah. you went out to the big bad world. So yeah. um yeah, we all went there and I don't I certainly don't know if I'd send my kids there. But um I mean I turned out okay. You know. Well, yeah, you've done it right. <laughs> I think so. But we're um, you know, we're always trying to um, I think we'd eventually like to get the, our kids to like Redlands or something, yeah, yeah. but you know it's all money and and so you sort of just do what you can and yeah, exactly do the best for them that you can. And I think, I think it, it, come, it all comes back to what we we're talking about before, right? So like I know some some kids who went to Redlands College who are just crazy now. Like yeah. I know a few of them; they're in jail. Some yeah. are in in um, you're doing some nuts things and. They just look. They were some of my friends, but they never had really. I remember going to their parents, like their houses, yep. and it was chaos. Yeah, I was like, them. Their like dad is acting like younger than I am. Yeah, like, you know. Yeah. Um, but then I've got mates also who went to some like crazy schools, like in Woodridge or whatever, where you'd think, oh, I don't want to send my kids there yeah. because they're going to not turn out great, and they're killing it. They're doing one's awesome. Like a doctor, yeah. One's, yeah. You know. You never yeah, that's know, right. Hey. That's right. Yeah. But I, but if you can, you can. It's if you can set yourselves kids up. It's, yeah, yeah, you, you, you do. always want to do. Of course, those things, don't yeah, you? of course. Yeah. But it's definitely not. Um, I say, I just think sometimes now, people just think that that you know you've got to like get your kids into the private school mm. and do all that so that like I don't doubt that it it, it can help for sure. But um, yeah, it's not like it's something. The be all and end. No, I don't thing, think so. I don't think no, so. No. I think probably the truth of it is that um. There's a lot more chance that they might end up um, 
hanging out with a better group of kids. Yeah. You know, potentially. Yeah. You know, that, that that's, would- That's true. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's that's a benefit. Because you know. they become a massive influence, don't they? they yeah, well, that's so right. time you with can, them. Well, I mean, I think back about the kids I hung out with at school and it's like, yeah, most of them probably weren't ideal. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but I mean, that's just a- Yeah, there's also, like you said, there's a lot of bad seeds at really great schools. Yeah. So just- I suppose, and that's where your parenting, that's where the parenting side of it comes in, mm. hoping that you get your kids to understand enough of what is a sensible decision or what is a, a, a good friend to have and what's a bad one. Yep. yep. So that when the time comes that they make those better decisions. Because at, at that age, they're not thinking, I better surround myself with good kids. That's right. Because that'll, that's that'll help fun. me in life. You know? Yeah, that's exactly right. You know? So, yeah. And again, like, I think my parents did a good job of that. I also hung out with some real psychos so you know, yeah i, I think mean, it's good though like, yeah i think it shapes weird, you and stuff like, too i'm kind of i'm kind of glad that those guys were my mates like yeah because i yeah. like so most of it you're like you are an idiot like but <laughs> look like we had fun we had so much fun oh man I, yeah i had a great time at school yeah but um also i also sometimes think to yourself myself like well you know i am where i am now through the places and things that I've been, so I don't really want to change any of it. Exactly, yeah. Because, you know. Yeah, it's amazing how much it. Yeah. Those experiences all form together yeah. to create the person that you are. Yep. Yeah. And actually, like, um, interesting story. So, um, Sirks, mm. his um, younger brother, you might even know him, I can't think of his name now. Nathan? Nathan. Yeah. So, um, he did work experience um, back years ago. So like, well, many years ago when yeah, I was right. like still on the tools and everything, he came and did work experience. I didn't know who he was or anything. He was just a kid. Um, but he kind of like for a week, he was with us all day, every day. And um, I, at that point, I was not a Christian. Like, so I grew up in a Christian home. Yeah. Dad being the elder and, you know, like I had it just like laid on me thick. Yeah. So I hated church. Um, and just, I hated even just anyone talking about church or even any of okay, it. Just sick of I just it. hated it. Yeah. So like, I remember having that um, moment with dad, even where I got to a point where I was bigger than him or I just said, I'm not going to church anymore. Yeah. You can't, you can't make me. It was at that point, you know, and so he didn't. And so I stopped. So yeah. And, and so, I, and it, like in hindsight, I said, looking back and everything, I think now there's always like a guilt or there, there was always like a, like I knew the truth. And so whenever anyone brought up church or anything to do with church, it really got me offside. Yeah. Um, and so anyway, this kid, he starts doing work experience. And, you know, sometimes you see or meet someone and you can just go, oh, they're a Christian. Yeah, it's funny, Just the way it? they carry themselves. And yeah. So I knew I could see that with this kid. And um, he spent most days with me that week. And, uh, yeah, I remember at one point, like just driving along in the ute with him and, and saying, oh, you're a Christian, are you? And he was just like, yeah, you know, he wasn't like, he was just cool about it. Not preachy. No. Yeah, not, yeah. But I just remember um, him not hiding anything about it or, or anything like that. But I remember, and this makes me feel like such a tool, but I remember thinking to myself, I'm going to try and stitch him up, like with <clears throat> some of those questions that just, people ask you yeah you know i can't even remember what they were now but i just remember thinking i'm going to try and stitch him up anyway through over those few days and stuff he just carried himself so well like wow. when it with whatever i asked him yeah and i can't even remember the answers he gave me but i just remember thinking by the end of it oh huh. you know like man he's a cool kid you know yeah, and, yeah. and then and then like he left and that was it like i didn't like i said See you later. I probably never see you again, or whatever. He left. Um, but then, like from that, it was it just started this like it just started my brain like ticking over, mm, you know, wow. and um, I couldn't shake it. And then it was just like a series of things where um, would happen, and 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 and, and I'd be, or I'd be thinking, or I'd hear something, and it was like I couldn't get away from god no matter how hard i tried yeah that's awesome and um and then one day you know my little brother and we weren't that close or anything but i remember sort of um talking to him just randomly at his car 
um, and I must have been sort of saying that to something about that to him, and he's like, "Oh man!" And he just like reaches down into the pocket of his car, of the door, pulls out this book, and he's like, "My friend just gave me this book, like today or the day before, and it's like a sort of like a Christianity for, for like it's it's a book you give to someone who like a new Christian, kind yeah, of like a, a beginning, yeah, one of those yeah, like." Yeah. And he's like, oh, you should, yeah. And he's like, you should take this. Yeah, wow. And I mean, like, you know, growing up in church, I knew all the, all of it. But that book, whatever it said, it was like, I need, it's what, it's exactly what I needed to hear. And it was just like, and it was like, you know, I, I must have just finished that book. And it was like, not long after that, that I just remember just like breaking down, wow. give my whole life to God. Because, and, and I just think now, and I, I told that story so many times because I was like t- um, leading youth and stuff years ago and um, using that story like that kid, he didn't know or do- and still doesn't know that just in the way, in, uh, by the way he carried himself, it 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 completely shifted my whole like yeah. life. Yeah. And, and I- it, it, not even by him like. Like what's not even not preaching to you, yeah. but what like not even saying, Hey, I went to church this Yeah. He nothing, didn't even mention nothing. that at all. It was wow. just him living out his faith. Yeah. That's how I see it. Yeah. Uh, and I'm you know, and I don't think he would have was perfect and I'm sure he's not. No. Um but the fact that he just was like a genuine person and I saw that, it just yeah, mm. and it, it just triggered something in me. And so I I always from 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 that point on I kind of that's something that really resonated with me, and it made me always think that about my, of myself. You know, it's pretty convicting, isn't it? Yeah, you know, but you just don't know. You don't know what you could do that day, or in a in a in a conversation, or in a, in a moment that might actually be the the, the one thing for for someone yeah, to right. send them off on the right path, yeah. or whatever you know. Well, just even to, for them to ask the question, exactly. You know. Yeah. yeah, like like as you did, where you said, "Are you a Christian?" Yeah, yeah, exactly. He yeah. could have he could have easily just gone on, oh, nah. Yeah, because he could have been like, oh, I'm sure I said it like in a way that would have felt a bit intimidating. Yeah, yeah, but uh, he was, like, yep, you know, yeah. And so yeah, that 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 Good really on. it was cool. Yeah, and I'm, I've told Cirks that story, and he and he's been like, "Wow, that's so cool," you yeah. know. But I've I'm yet to ever. Um, See, you know John O'White. Yeah, he's like really good mates with Nathan Circle. Is he? Yeah, they were in a band together back in the day. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh wow! I wish I knew that now. We just because we just sang he together used to come at Carol's to, uh, Gateway. Yeah, I knew I'm that. Sure yeah. Gateway, yeah, yeah. I, I knew that, but um, isn't that funny? That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a that's a cool story, and and um, that's something that's always stuck with me. Yeah, it's pretty convicting, isn't it? Like, it really so. is. It really is. It just sort of goes. <clears throat> it makes me think like if i have a you know like i I still muck up mess up all the time Mm -hmm. but the times where i mess up something bad or if i say something that's not me or whatever it always like i hate i hate thinking gosh you know what if like something i've just said or uh, i've acted in some certain way that that's now that's affected that person's Mm. path potentially yeah so it really it really yeah it really makes you just go just careful, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, because, you know, it's like kingdom work. If you think about it, you don't want to muck that up. No. You know. Exactly, you don't. But we all do, but. Um, yeah, every day. And th- and that's also why sort of I, I got to a point, and, and I suppose it's just from getting older and trying to mature. I got to a point where, like, I wanted to start surrounding myself with the right mates, the right people. Yeah. You know, as opposed to just whoever. It's just for that same reason, like putting people around you that make you better. Definitely make you want to be better. better. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. you hope you do the same thing in turn. Yeah. So, um, and that's been massive. For yeah. Me as they well. say like, um, I've heard it said in like business, um, uh, in a business sense, like you know, you are the, you are the average of the five. You are the average of your five closest friends. Yeah. Something like that. You know. Yeah. So who you that's true. Yeah. It's really who you true. You surround yourself with is who. If you've got people that are like super negative people, with like, I oh, don't even bother. Yep. You know. Then you're going to become like that. You're not going to. Well, it's just yeah. it rubs Either off that, you. or you're just going to burn out, and you're going to be like, "You, yeah, I don't want to be friends with you anymore." Yeah, exactly. You know, and, and you've and got to have a balance. Of you do, you do, and also I think you know you can also like, <clears throat> it's really easy to have no friends mm. by choice, yeah, because you're busy with life and stuff. 
But that's also a terrible place to be because- oh, It's super lonely. Just hanging out. Like, you know, you might be married and have kids and all that. But if you haven't got um, a, a group of people that are influencing you, that's a terrible place to be. Yeah. Because, I mean, you or like me, like I, I, I'm a train wreck. <laughs> if yeah. I haven't got people like, <laughs> you know- um, yeah. Sort of pulling me back. If it's just me and my own thoughts. Oh, mate. It's don't, I don't want to be there. It's that dangerous. It's terrible. Horrible. <laughs> yeah, it's a you know, terrible place. I feel sorry be. for my wife. Like, if she, if I didn't have mates who, you know, like, she, and she encourages me, um, <clears throat> and same oh, I do for her and her friends, because it's, uh, it's important. Like, you've got your, your marriage and you've, and, and you learn off each other and all that stuff. But you, yeah, you need, you need like core people in your mm, life yeah. for sure. Like, I'm a huge, um, believer in that, and it took me a long time to yeah. realize that. But now that now that I have that, it's like oh, I, I'd never give that up. No, nah. yeah. And mates that can like um, just really call you on stuff as well. Yeah, and just challenge. Like I've got some good mates, and I'll say things, and they're just like, "Great, but why? Why? Why are you doing that? Yeah. Or what are you doing? Yeah. And, it, and and it's not necessarily in like a because it is something that I'm doing that's wrong. Yep. But it's just, uh, it just makes me ask that question. Oh, hang on. Why am I doing that? Or what am it I doing? That for, you know, it definitely like, does. It definitely does. And um, it, it, that's exactly right. What you said is right. Like, um, you just have mates and go, who, 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 like, someone else may never have said to you, oh, what's your plan here? Mm, or, because yeah. if it's just you and you haven't got your mates, then you're definitely not going to sort yeah. of really ask yourself that potentially. Not at all. If you got mates who are like, oh, what's your plan? What, what's what's happening here? Like, why are you doing this? And you can be like, oh, actually, I don't know. Yeah. You know, there's just all these. It just it benefits you in multiple ways. Yeah. Um, and and, and which just, I'm super. I I need around me so much because I'm the sort of person the way that my brain works. Usually, if I have an idea, I don't dwell on it for very long. I just sort of start doing stuff yeah. like I'll and not like start putting things into process and before I know I've got to the point where I'm like how did I get here and why why yeah. am I doing this yeah you know exactly what like, prompted me to do this yeah. again okay, I'm just gonna let her out yeah go quick. for it Sorry. man all good my she looks like she's uh ready for something oh she's busted <laughs> oh she's so keen <laughs> <laughs> is it hotter in here now? Or like, does it sound too low? Uh, Potentially. Wow. Now she's cranking. Yeah. No, that's important, hey. It is. It's been a massive thing for me. Um, and so, yeah, I always, I always, um, I always also now find myself like if I'm thinking about just driving along and thinking about one of the boys or something. Instead of just like that being it, I'll go, oh, that's weird. I'm thinking about whoever it is. I'll just message them. Yeah, right. Because I use those those moments now as like a, well, I don't think that's just me randomly thinking about them. I think that's like a prompt. Yeah, true. And um, so many times like you might do that and they're like, oh, man, that's crazy. You know, um, this is happening. Or, yeah, um, very so, timely. Yeah. Yeah. And so now I sort of like I don't really think of anything as like um, – a coincidental I think I think of it as um what's the word um well it was supposed to, that was supposed to happen at that time yeah yeah, yeah if that makes for sense for a purpose for a what purpose do call that, like, there's a word that I can't yeah I can't the think stupid of christian word I guess <laughs> yeah it would be it would be divine, something like it would be cringy intervention or yeah. something which I can't stand that sort of stuff but I guess <laughs> me it's neither true, it's like oh know. gosh yeah. but um yeah, I, I I just feel like um, there's been too many like moments for me in my life and up till now where if I think about it, I'm like, there's no way that that was just a random thing. Yeah. And so, and and, you, and largely, I'm, what I'm talking about is yeah, stuff to do with people in your life and places where you've ended up. And because um, like you know, even just Shell and I coming, we were at another church for a long time, um, nearly ten years, and <clears throat> we could have just. Stayed there forever. Yeah. Um, what was, church were you at? We were at Capella Bar Presbyterian or Redlands Presbyterian okay, Church. Yeah. It was a great church. Um, and it was really great for me and it helped me with like, um, I was on, on the music team there and stuff. And it really, it was a real anchor for me. Yeah. Um, but also we hadn't sort of developed any really deep, close friendships 
with other families with young kids, that sort of thing. Yeah. And like looking back now, where we are now, it's like, gosh, we could have just still been stuck in that rut where there was nothing really wrong, but we weren't sort of moving forward uh, and growing any really long, lifelong lasting sort of friendships yeah. and relationships. Not, not growing deep in those. That's right. Yeah, you know, and you kind of get into that. Um, We were sort of almost like in autopilot, mm. you know, where I was kind of looking after a te- team of um, musos and I could do that and, and I was happy doing that and I can get up and um, lead the worship and not really have to talk to anyone, yeah. like that sort of thing where it's, it's a bit dangerous. Yeah, definitely. And so we, um, you know, once we – it was actually Shell who kind of was like, oh, you know, had just said like she wasn't feeling that sort of great. Um, and because cause I have that sort of mentality, I, again, from like dad, I felt like I can't leave. Mm. Like I'm doing this. Like I'm, I can't like abandon the team. or, or Yeah, that we, like loyalty. That lo- yeah, like yeah. a loyalty. Yeah. Um, but then the more we talked and like prayed about and stuff and then like oh, maybe there's something in it to this. And started like um, just checking out other places and everything. Going to Gateway eventually it was like walking in for me. I was just like, boom. Yeah, well, it was like a. It was just like a. I knew instantly that would be where we where we'd end up. Oh, that's cool. And um, I was just vibing hard on it, you know. <laughs> yeah. But also being such a big church, you you you'd easily get lost there, and so. Um. You know, when we when we made the decision, okay, we're going. It was like we're going, but we're going um, with 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 the intention, like with a real drive to like meet people. Yeah, that's good. To 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 really get connected hard and fast. Yeah, and and I was at a point where I'm like, I know that like, look, there's people that don't vibe with me, but that's okay. Like, I don't need everyone to like me as much as I love them to. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I know that I'm not for everyone. So, and so, but I was quite willing to, f- to meet people or to put myself out there to, to find out who wasn't for who us does, and who was. Yeah. Who does vibe of you. And yeah. it, mate, and it happened so quickly. That's awesome. And then, and then, you know, some of the, some of my really great mates were the, some of the first people to be, be the ones there to sort of reach out and say good day. And, and, you know, you're like, yeah, they're going to be my friend. I can yeah. tell, you it's know. It's funny, isn't it? You do yeah. have that. Yeah. Even I've met some people just not even through church, but I've just met people and, you know, you just have that instant connection. Yeah. You're like, I feel like oh, I've you know. known you. Yeah. I met some guy, I talked to him on a plane once. I mean, still a message every now and again, but I, um, we just like hit it off. Yep. I was like, I was, you know, I like usually, sometimes you get on a plane and usually everyone puts their headphones in. Yeah. This guy was about to put his headphones in. For some reason, I just went, oh, hey, hey, how you doing? We did not, like, there was not a break in the, the conversation whole the whole time. Yep. It was crazy. Yeah. And I was like. It just happens. You, you, yeah, it was nuts. Yeah. And, um, and like, he lives in Perth. But, yeah, it was just, yeah, just crazy. It's, it's cool. Yeah. That kind of stuff is cool. And I think um, you got to, if you do, if that sort of thing happens and you do kind of, like, nurture it and go for it, it's usually pretty rewarding. Definitely. Yeah, you know, but it's like anything. You, you got to, you got to put in the like the work into things. It takes it's, effort. Yeah, yeah. If you're not going to put in an effort, you're not. It's gonna, a two way street. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, and so um, but it's so worth it. And I've I've found that. Like I've found with whatever, what I've gained from having a group of mates, um, com- compared to what I've put into it, mate, I've gained so much more yeah. than I've given. I feel. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And so, yeah, I, I would do pretty much anything to keep that now. Yeah, that's awesome. Just knowing what, what it so means good. to me. So, yeah, that was like get, get, getting to Gateway, just like once we were there and we've met these people and, and, and you could see how genuine they were, that that they weren't just sort of going through the motions like, oh, hey. and mm. um, But you could They're tell. They're actually trying to you make could a tell. connection and not yeah. just smile and say hello. Exactly, yeah. yeah. There was a realness to them. Yeah. Um, I was like, yeah, this is, these are definitely our people. Yeah. And so um, I still, though, I still had that, like, real, um, like, desire to, like, I wanted to be involved straight away. Mm. Um, and I spent so much time, like, in my own head while we're at church, I'd be like, God, oh, man, just I'd be sitting there during, like, Jace talking or whatever and, we just going, how, how am I going to fit in here? Like, will I be up doing that or, 
you know, and I spent like so much time like mulling on that that it was like distracting me from You're just like being pe- present. Yeah, being yeah, present. Yeah. And um yeah, this this one Sunday it was actually Jace Fittis who's preaching yeah right and uh, i don't like to use him because it'll go to his head but uh <laughs> he was preaching and um I, we were sitting in like a a different spot i don't know if the, that that one day we were sitting in a different spot because we were trying to meet more people or whatever but i was listening to him but i was really distracted and by thinking about man i still haven't like found, found my place sp- yeah. yeah and i remember just like i feel like it was an audible yeah right. voice wow. and because it really like threw me but i heard um I feel like I heard um, let go and listen. Yeah, wow. And um, it really like made me go like, I I turned around. Wow. That's amazing. It was like it was in my, it was there. Yeah, right. And I was like, what? And like at the time, I just was like, what was that? And then it felt weird driving home from church that day. I felt weird even telling Shell about it Mm. because it was like I heard a voice. Was it? This is just me being curious now. Yeah, what you know how sometimes you you think in your own head, and I don't know about you, but I th- when I'm thinking, I'm hearing what I think is my own voice. Yeah, right? I know exactly what you mean. Do you think it, it was your own no, voice? No, wow. I don't, because it felt like someone standing right beside me, speaking yeah, right. into my ear. It didn't feel like the head. Yeah, it was because I know exactly what you mean. I'm, yeah. I'm always talking. You know, I talk to myself in my head. So yeah, often. yeah, yeah, hectic. Wow. But um, no, this was like and and yeah, I just like I couldn't stop thinking about it. Mm. So I told Shell, she was like, "Oh wow, that's amazing. Well, mm. Sounds like that was God talking to you." <laughs> yeah. And 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 all I was like, "All the boxes are ticked." Oh, <laughs> but I was just like <laughs> growing up in a Prezi church. You know, it's like you don't even lift a hand up. Yeah, pretty, you, you know, it's conservative. Pretty, right? it's pretty conservative. Yeah. And so I was like, you know, that. That part of me was going, oh, just the pump, the, bra- pump the brakes, bro. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. but I just couldn't stop thinking about it. Yeah, well. and um, and yeah, from that from that point on, I just tried to do that, mm. like, because I just kept thinking, like, let go of all the stuff that you're overthinking, and just listen and let and let let it happen. Yeah, and and so that's what I did, and then it was like. Then I was just investing in friendships and um, relationships and getting into a life group and all the things that we, we were supposed to do, we did. But you weren't necessarily thinking about- I wasn't worrying about- How your place in that- Exactly. In, thinking about how that's going to help you. And, yeah, yeah, all of that. I sort yeah. of, it just helped me. And men, and from and because of that, yeah, we, we grew these really fast, awesome friendships and- um, and then, you know, eventually, then, you know, like through those friendships and stuff, I found my place and, and, and people encouraged me and to get on team. And But it all happened like when it was supposed to. Yeah. You know, as opposed to like, you know, I could have just spent all my time going, oh, I really want to be on team. I'm just going to focus on that. And Mark probably would not have even given me a second look. Yeah. Um, but it didn't happen that way. And I'm so glad for that. Because you're mates with like Mark and yeah, Marky, Nath. Yep. Those guys, and they're all on, they're all yeah. creative on. Yeah, the, that's right. Yeah. Is it, yeah, like, yeah. So, um, you know, it's the only reason I became mates with them just to get on team. Yeah. No, but um, no, <laughs> it, it was really cool. I like, understand. It was really cool. You got to, <laughs> you got to pick your mates. No, but um, that, that was, that was, that, that was massive for me. Mm. And so, and then I even ended up getting baptized at church. Um, like I was baptized, um, as a baby. Yeah, right. Um, but I really wanted to, um, I really wanted to become a member. A gateway, and and they're like, oh, okay, have you been baptized? And I was like, oh yeah, as a baby, but not I was like, oh, would you? And I'm like, heck yeah, yeah. Because you know, for me, it's just like you're just getting up in front of people and just telling them you love Jesus. Mm. I'm cool with that. Yeah, you know. Um, so that was like an exciting thing for me, and it was it was super exciting for me because the, the kids got to watch me do it. Yeah, exactly. And, and so it it's that other that role model. And, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and so that happen. It was like a. It was a big moment. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, and so, and it was again. I had all these people like when when that happened, and you know, um, and I asked Mark to do it for me because he was my friend, and yeah, so right. that was really special. And um, Kate Peterson, she's in a life group with us. Yeah, she she was in there with me too. Super special. It wasn't just like you're in the pool and you don't really know anyone. And when Mark or whoever it was um, 
sort of said, oh, we're going to pray and if you if you know, like, you want to come up. I just remember, like, after the, they prayed, looking up and, like, there was just so many people around me. Mm. Just, you know, it just was, like, such a far out. This is so where we are yeah, supposed to be. a lot of people who don't probably wouldn't even have met you. Exactly. Like, yeah. You know? That's, that's, just, yeah, it's amazing. For that, yeah. I, I just know, for me, it's, like, nothing's a coincidence. Nothing's a cha- by chance. It's It's all supposed to be the way yeah. it is yeah so that's why and you just got to be open to that as well yeah yeah be 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 willing mm. even just like you asking me to do this it's like well dude what am i going to talk about but i'm just go just take 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 the chance if you feel like you're being led that way exactly because i mean what's the worst thing that could happen exactly yeah you that's know? a good lesson isn't it yeah and that's the it's and i think like when you're talking about getting out of your own head mm. um that's probably why you're able to form those relationships because you're not thinking about while well, you're talking to somebody, what's the next thing I'm going to say. That's right. You're just actually listening to them. Yeah. And that's something that people really can feel. And, yep. And that's something that I have to learn even doing this, you know, yeah, yeah. people is yep. not, not necessarily preparing all these questions and then thinking about the next one. That's right. That works for some people. I like some of the best interviews I've listened to, they work Yeah, they're way. really structured. and. But I'm kind of – learning and whether it, people like listening to it or not yeah is going oh you said something that's interesting tell me about that tell me about that you know like, yeah let's dig deeper into yeah that, yeah just let know. it sort of happen it's yeah it's own way that's unfortunately cool. sometimes you can go two and a half hours and you <laughs> yeah talk to that rubbish that's a joe rogan podcast <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah yeah it's like three hours later <laughs> yeah exactly oh, how did the, the dog, get the dog oh, she must have let her in <laughs> yeah so that's um yeah it's like a long sort of uh, a long journey, but one that's like crazy to think about where we could have been as opposed to, as you go, Sars, <laughs> where, where you could have ended up potentially or could have stayed rather. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I'm uh, yeah, super grateful always just thinking about where we are now yeah, awesome. and where we were. You know, not, yeah. not, um, thanks, Joel. Didn't help, <laughs> didn't help for the podcast with the <laughs> Sari and Willow coming down before too. Joel? Uh, it's good. Um, it's authentic. Yeah, it makes that's it more authentic. Yeah. It's great. People feel like they're in your living yeah. room now. Yeah, yeah. I, think that's- <laughs> I screamed once. So. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. No, we we um we don't. You don't want to ever sound like um sound like you um, regretted ever being somewhere either because it was all like I said earlier. Definitely, it was all part of a pro- uh, process. Yeah. Uh, p- part of a, a journey rather where that got you to that point. Yeah, and then. Yeah, you learn learn from the, those people, and and that's that's the other thing. Like people in our old church, man, I learned so much from, mm. you know, and um, are still friends with. So you you just um, thankful just for those moments, and then life, yeah, exactly, different yeah. seasons, definitely. And um, yeah, now yeah. we're in this season, we're loving it. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of this season, so twenty new year, mm. got any got any big plans? Any big things on the? Horizon, or just as you I said, I thought you were going to say resolutions. I was like, no, nah, no, 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 not big on resolutions. No. Um, plans. Well, really, it's for me. Um, we've just moved house, yeah, so that's full on. Um, but it's again a big blessing, and um, don't take that for granted either. Um, so just getting back into the year, like the kids are about to start school again. Like uh, Shell's taken on a contract at Redlands where it's three quarters of the year. All right. Um, So that doesn't come with that. Like that comes with its own challenges, Challenges, you know, with with four kids. That's um, that's something. So luckily, like we're blessed to have great parents. Both of our parents really help us a lot and with with looking after kids and all that stuff. Um, I think for me this year is going to be largely focused around – just still working on all of our friendships um, and our church life because for me, like, you know, I love um, my job. I love, like, what I do and I work hard, but church for me and the friendships um, there is, like, key. Yeah. And so that's that, kind of like your, that's, your base. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. important to me. Um, Like, I've, I, I, yeah, like I said, like, I just feel like, you know, we're trying to go where we're being led. Mm. And so um, that's where I feel like, you know, putting in the effort and um, being on team for me is a huge like, privilege um, and it's a real joy. So um, just, yeah, nurturing that hopefully um, so I get more opportunities to get better. 
Yeah. Um, like being like uh, being around people like you, people, anyone's better than me, which is pretty much everyone. I can't sing. It's, you can sing. I can't. Sing. Oh, mate, well, you can do. You can do lots. Don't talk yourself down. <laughs> no. But you know what I mean. You get you surround yourself with people that, like we said before, you uh, look up to and mm. admire. And the same thing with like people with talent. You like put yourself around talented singers and. Stand next to someone like Joel Eames. Mate, that like, guy's just, a, like, just got, a machine. I've got to practice. Yeah, yeah. It's like, okay, well, you're not human. But, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. but those, you know, and again, I mean, he's a great example of someone who's just like so super uber talented, but so humble. It's just insane. So humble and willing to teach. Yeah. That's such a Such a legend, that guy. I'll ask a question so often and I think uh, in my head I'm thinking, this is such a silly question. I think I've asked Joel this about 50 times. Mm. But, but, but hey, so it just willing. means you care. Yeah, yeah it goes in, it goes into like yeah, answers so more helpful. than I would. Yeah, and I've, I've, that's been impacting for me. Yep. as I've kind of, it's not the biggest role, I guess, but helping the bass players as well. Mm. I'm like try to go above and beyond for that. And yeah, and that's awesome. Yeah, it's like paying it forward. Even though some of those guys, like Josh Madden, he's yeah. like way more talented than I. He's am. amazing. So yeah. I'm like, how do I steal things from him? Yeah, pass them on. But know? that's cool. You know. Yeah. So I mean, how good's like. The church setting like that, where you can flourish in a, yeah, in a way awesome. where you probably otherwise wouldn't, or certainly oh, not no. as not as easy. Like even like Ed said to me once, um, once I, I got onto team and I was just so excited. Um, she's like, you know, some people um, play gigs every night um, at a pub for for years, maybe to fifty people. We get to stand up and sing in. F- with but or and in front of you know potentially a couple of thousand yeah it's nuts um it's like if you think you if you it's think about it like that it's like it's huge yeah um it's not a gig but it's no but there's a is, certain element to it in comparison yeah it is, yeah, yeah. A and so there is and so like that's that's why um it's not something i'd take for granted at, or like treat like like i like to think that i give everything i've got yeah um because i know it's a big responsibility and a big deal and so it's the same thing like if you're up up there on a platform any sort of platform but in this sense on the stage like people are looking at you Mm. it's a big deal it's that you're doing the doing it the right way um because like i said you could affect that one person that one day yeah um for the better or the worse so yeah like that for me this year it's just bettering myself um i mean you know i i try to play guitar somewhat well but i could do a lot of uh, a lot better in that as well so it's just yeah trying to find the time um to get a good balance i think i think the last few years um, probably before sort of coming to gateway i I really had the balance out of whack okay yeah and so it's been like that's been a process just finding that um getting that right so that you sort of feel a bit more like you're sort of keeping everything together yes instead of like just putting all your effort into one thing and everything else falls apart yeah so you can be doing really well in one area yeah, yeah. As you say, and then you're everything just neglecting else crumbles the rest. Yeah. yeah and it all comes crashing down yeah, yeah. and i mean i mean i'm the I, do, I certainly still don't do that super well but yeah. again like having the right people around you i mean you know even 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 just like having the right people around you you know even like the moving house as an example, like man, the boys like half the boys like took the day off work, yeah, wow, to help us move. It's like they have their own businesses. Mm. Do you just know what I mean? Sacrifice, yeah, you know what I mean. But that's just like that shows you that they're the right people to have in your life, you know. And so, um, that's, yeah, so yeah, it's, it's little just, things, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, nurturing all that kind of stuff, mm. and obviously still working on the family. It's like probably for me as a dad of four kids, it's like I constantly feel like. I'm not doing a good job or I could be doing better as a dad just um, but again it's more of like a, as a in terms of balance like how much am I here how much am I gone when I am here is it um is it quality time is it quality time or is it like I'm really tired and mm. grumpy and yeah you know yeah. so like working on all that stuff yeah um, I think but that's, that's good I think like I th- I don't think anyone should get to the point where they go. I don't have to think about that anymore. Yeah, I always no. you always want You've to given be a up. better dad. You yeah, always, that's right. You can always be better. You know? Yeah, oh, I, I I think that's yeah. definitely true. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm very cool. I'm working on. Sounds like a busy year ahead, then, hey, mate. That 
<laughs> they always seem to be crazy, crazy years. And, and um, you know, everyone sort of says, always says they're super busy. Like, that's just like, everyone's like, it's always busy. It's saying. You know, I, 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 Shell and I will often say, it just feels like we're running, you know. So, I'd, I'd like to think that's something too that we'd try to get better with over time is like walking a bit. Yes. So, who knows how, how well that'll go, but that's um that's definitely just a, mm. a, a thing that you do. You feel like you're running on about 60% because you you never get a minute to really yeah. recharge. Because you can, yeah, you can be running, but then it's important that you kind of have those, at least those little periods where you walk. That's right. And then you can sprint again. Exactly, you know? yeah. Yeah, because so. I think... um. I think life is about there's some there's an aspect of life which is it's about that kind of running and yeah and you've got to be careful obviously mm. but I don't really want to live a life where I'm just uh how's it going yeah it's crazy yeah. oh no that, that 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 sounds terrible yeah. to me <laughs> no yeah yeah you know, like I think it gets it get it get old pretty quick. Oh, you know? oh, it would, yeah. and then that's that's the, that sort of comes around to like even, and I think like you said, we're probably very similar type of guys. Where I am quite eager, or quite often, put my hand up for something because I, I've got to be doing something, doing something, and learning. And, yeah. yeah, and so like, yeah, if you stop for a minute, even even uh, even like every time I go on Christmas holidays, it'll be like second or third day in, and I'm like, what are we doing? Yes, you know, because it's like. It's the first time in ages where maybe there's no plan for the mm. day. It's like I don't deal well with that no. because it's like I have like every day I get up and I train and then I go to work and, you know, there's that routine. Yeah. So to not have the routine, it's like this feels wrong. Yeah. And and it's like I feel sorry for the, the kids in Shell because it's like that I've got to sort of like de- – like I've got to tune myself to being on holidays and being okay with that. Mm. Yeah. it's it's you, you almost need to – it, it it's an adjustment period. Hey? It is. It and really is. We go is. camping every year with you know James and Sophie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With yep. Every year, and we only go for a week. Yeah, you but, just went um, to New Zealand with them, didn't you? Yeah, we yeah. Went to New Zealand. It was yeah. awesome. They're like that's an example of some really good friends. Yeah, brilliant. That we met at Gateway. And, so good. Um, but we go camping, right? And James, he's like the sort of person who's always doing up doing something, yep. like adjusting a tent or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah. Whereas I can, I'll just sort of chill for the first day or two. Yep. But after that, I'm like. We've got to drive somewhere. Yeah, yeah, come on. Something like. <laughs> yeah, how much longer can <laughs> yeah. we sit here? Okay. But I'm also in the back of my head constantly thinking, what can I do? When I get out of, when I finish this holiday, what can I be doing? You yeah, know, like, you're um, planning like, ahead. Constantly yeah, thinking, yeah. you know, which is, yep. it, that's a balance as well. It's all yeah. about, life is a balance, isn't it? Eh? It really is. It and really some is. for some people that is tipped this way or this way mm-hmm. and um, everyone's different. You yep. know, like, and yeah. I feel like that's what... Um, that's why I've I've sort of really um, grabbed onto the friendships and, and and the people that we're with now because like you know before that the, the that balance that I was talking about you know I was doing such a bad job of finding it you know and I was I might have been using the wrong things to try and fill the the balance like you know I was drinking too much beer mm. because that was a way for me to sort of like deal with the days the stress yeah. of the day Relax. or whatever you know yeah. and so. But I mean, then I was getting fat, yeah, and because I was tired. But I was tired probably because I was drinking too much beer and not, ex- you know. And so, you get people around you that go, that love fitness, and so that you're like, you know, I want to be like him, yeah. You know what I mean? And then it's like, you you might not drink that much less beer because you really like drinking beer, but you, you exercise all lot. the time, yeah, exactly. and so it offsets it, yeah. You know, and so all of a sudden, then you're like, oh, this is working, and and and. Then you start changing a few other things, and all of a sudden you're like, "Wow, yeah, you know, this is how I'm supposed to be living." And that progress is addicting, addictive. It, it is. For it sure. is. Yeah. Uh, I, I, yeah. Where you can, there's a thing um, I've I've been told, and I'm kind of I'm using it as a bit of a like a not a mantra. I don't like that word either. But <laughs> yeah. Like when people go, "Oh, you know, I want to be like this person when I when I that's what when I want when I die. That's what I want to be like." Yeah. You know? My thing is like, there's a version of myself which is the best version yep. that I can possibly be. Yeah. Like when I die and go to heaven or whatever this, you know, however that looks, mm. I'm gonna. I want to meet that person and be like, dude, I know it's like you and me talking. I know you so well. Like we yeah. Know, we're exactly the same person. Yeah. I don't want to be like, man. I don't even know you. Yeah. Like you know. Yeah. Totally. So that's a 
that to me is addicting where you're like, yep. I keep saying addicting, addictive. Yes. This is why I didn't finish school. <laughs> but I get what you're saying. Yeah, because you're like, <laughs> yeah. And, and you have to be careful because yeah. I think you can then go for the wrong things. But when you're like, no, there's a, I can be, I can continue to grow here. Yeah, for sure. And see that as like a, that's like a challenge, you know. That's a, yeah. That's a fun thing. Yeah. Well, fun and hard to do. Yeah. But yeah. But if you, if you, if you always kind of, I feel like if you're always, um, doing things or pushing yourself in a, in a way that you um, are feeling like nervous about something you're going to do, then it probably means it's important. Mm. And or, or you, you know what I mean? Rather than if you're just cruising, yeah, like you said, because nothing really means that much to you or you're not having to care much about anything, then you're probably not putting in. Yeah. You're probably not getting it. You know, you're not bettering yourself. Yeah. Even like yeah. this podcast, for instance, it's something I've yeah. wanted to do for so long. Yeah. And I const- and I had people, I would talk to them and they're like, what? Don't even bother. Like, how are you? Yeah. Like, I literally had people say, don't even bother. Like, one, you have like a super husky voice. No one's going to listen to you. Awesome for a podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the like ladies it. love it. Oh, <laughs> mate. Mate. Well, I hear him talking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's good. Yeah. And, um, or like, you know, there's so many people out there that are way more famous than you. Why, why would you even start that? But that a part of me was like, okay, oh, okay. But the other part of me was like, game on. Yeah, I'll have a crack. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it it, it does make me nervous. It makes me yeah, because. But I'm like, that's what I want. That's good. That's um, oh, stretching me. Yeah, you know? like I want to. Oh, I think that's like an authentic that brings an authenticity to it as well. Mm. It just doesn't feel, yeah, stark and bland and boring. Yeah, I just yeah. want to chat to people. Yeah. You know, and I genuinely want to find out about your life. Yeah. You know? um, and I hate, I can't deal with small talk, right? So I'm yeah. I'm like pretty extroverted. Yep. But I'm really awkward when it comes to like just going up and meeting somebody because those first five minutes are torture. Oh, mate. Like, That's, That's the same. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> Which you is say really that. strange. Like, so in a meet and greet situation, yeah. I sometimes run for the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm like, no, I thank don't, you. Because I really want to sit down with you and talk to you for 45 minutes or an hour or yeah. are we up to 90 minutes here, which yeah. we wrap this sucker up. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, and so I was like, well, hang on. I could use this podcast as an excuse yeah, it's to come awesome. and sit in somebody's lounge room or have them come to me yeah. and learn about them and, yeah. and help have them share their story. Yeah. To other people, and like yeah. you say, sometimes people are like, "Wow, that was that was really helpful to me, yeah, or beneficial to me, just to talk." Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. And then sometimes they might go, "Didn't get anything out of that. You guys talked a load of crap, but it was entertaining." Yeah, you know, that's right. We've done our job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, no, I think so. you're right. But I do. I, I agree with you. I'm the same with like the small talk stuff. I struggle really badly with mm. even just like the every day with the people I work with that you. Know, you go, morning, morning, They're like, how are you today? In my head, I always think to myself, oh, gosh, don't ask me how I am today. Yeah. You know, because and I and that's like a real, sometimes I think oh, I'm being a grump. But, you know, I always kind of go, same as yesterday. Because it's just like a such a generic, generic yeah. like I, it's not that they don't mean it or whatever, but it's just like I'd rather just be like, hey, yeah, you know, I'll talk to you properly when we talk later today. But it's like, it's that, it's that. Or you go, oh, how was the weekend? What did you do on the weekend? If if I could like bet <laughs> on it, 90% of the time they would say, oh, don't remember what I did, to be honest. Yeah. Or, oh, so busy. So busy. It was like, but that's just usually as far yeah. as it goes. Yeah. Whereas I'm like, no, tell me about yeah, it. Yeah, you know? that's right. And even like in some of our friendship groups, like I've had some of my friends, they kind of get a bit up me because I'm – <laughs> I'm always trying to turn like a conversation into a deep conversation. Yeah. And sometimes there's a limit. I'm like, okay, I don't need to ask those questions yeah. right yeah, now. Yeah, you know. But it's something that I have to learn. Yeah. Because I'm constantly like, let's talk about this stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah. You, you have that opinion. Why do you have that opinion? Yeah. I don't want to have an argument. I just want to have a discussion. Yeah. Anyway. That's a good quality to have. <laughs> and it works for this. There's a time and a place. Yeah, yeah, for sure. This might be the time of the place. Yeah. So, I agree. I think so. Uh, <laughs> I like but, what you're doing. Yeah. Thanks for sitting down there. Mate. It's, it's been fun. Been, it has been a real blast. It's been good getting to hang out. It's been really good getting yeah. to know you and yeah. hearing some more of your story. Yeah, I look forward to um, hearing many more. Yeah. I think they're really cool. I enjoy them. Oh, well, that's a, a, a one fan, so we're good. Mate, I'm a fan. A big fan. <laughs> a big fan. <laughs> that's all I need. Cool. I'm done. Cool. Man. Alrighty, thanks, mate. Hand, yeah. Can we shake hands here? Oh, yeah, let's do it.
They can just believe we're doing that. Oh, well, if the camera stayed ah, on, who knows? Yeah. It might have turned off. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, man. man.